We got the new seal on, we get the bearing in. Got everything set up there. Just gonna slide the wheel up here. And we wanna be sure when we put that wheel on that we don't catch that new seal on the threads of the spindle. So as you put it on, you want to have a good look inside here. Right in the end there, you see the spindle? You want to be, you want to have this thing up so that it's even. It's going to slide right in there without catching that seal. You have to line them up a little bit here. And then we should be able to, once we see that spindle nicely in the middle there, we can slowly approach it. If we're a little high or low, we can kind of make our adjustment as we go here. Just look at the drum on the back here. Make sure it's going on. Yep. And we might just have to lower it a bit because we're a little bit high. So we'll just take out our handle and we'll Let's drop this down just a wee bit. There we go. And now we should be able to slide it in here. There we go, just like so. There we go, we're all the way in. New gasket here, axle flange gasket. We'll take that off for the moment. We'll always use a new gasket for your axle flange. Now we'll take our wheel bearing We've inspected our wheel bearing already and the wheel bearing looks good. There's no major pits in there, anything that's going to damage it. Uh, we, can, uh, we can look at the end of the rollers here, make sure they're not worn. Have a look at the cage, make sure it's in good shape all the way around, not grabbing any of the rollers. And uh, the inner race to make sure there's no pitting inside there. And give it a slight spin test just to make sure it rolls nicely and now put a little bit of lube on it and some gear oil just put a bit on there and then that's all pre-lubricated ready to go and now we'll get our uh, inner nut here and our bearing, and we just slide the bearing in like so. There we go. And now we can put our nut on. If we look at this particular axle nut, and these are quite popular, these, this ring here that fits on to the spindle groove, keyway groove, and then these little guys here, these indents get pushed out of the way, so that's your lock on it, so it won't back off. These get pushed in and now you can rotate it with the socket on. So when you put this style on, you gotta put it on with the socket all the time, okay? Some of the other nuts you can do without, you can just hand thread them on. They have different locking devices. Okay, so we're gonna start the nut on here. Okay, all right, now. Just snug that in. That way, when we drop this out of the way, wheel won't fall down. Okay. We'll pull the wheel dolly out. We 